Okay, folks, welcome to my second catch and cook video. I've got a third one coming out soon today. We are cooking yellow bass that I caught. Well, I didn't catch it, but I was I was watching other people catch it. Yeah. Okay, I'm stealing it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, I'll let you right down here. Pull this up. We are cooking this over a fire, and I already like did everything I needed to. I've never eaten fish with the scales still on them, so this is a first for me. Let's do it. Hope y'all can see this. Okay, so far we got it heated up a little bit, and I don't have anything here. We're gonna, and we're gonna move the camera. To a better view. Now you can see better. Hopefully. Okay, what I'm thinking about doing is sort of like seasoning it and then putting it in the ash towards the skin so nothing gets any, no ashes get in it. There's a few, but I can just clean those off. I'll be fine. The seasoning is beef jerky. Because <laughs> that's all I got. So, what I'm using for seasoning is this. I've never tried this before. It does look promising. Let's see, see right here, that's beef jerky right there. Uh, so, we're going to try that. We sit and wait for it to be done. So I'm just gonna sit here and wait. Look for some more squirrels, maybe. Get ready for season. Make an even better spring snare than what I've got. The one I've got, they have to put a lot of tension on it. They have to pretty much set the whole entire snare completely off before it springs, which isn't that bad is better than the other two that I've got. It just, I can't open it wide enough, so I need to put something on the stick to be able to open it. It'll be better. 
we're just gonna grab like pliers I guess a knife or pliers and the tail this part will be useful in a fish trap depending on what time it is 609 yeah not gonna be good today but in the next few days that'll be a good fish trap should have kept parts of the other fish too you got flies all over me I don't want to burn my fish so you know what I'm using for seasoning is pretty much what I have in my mouth right now it's the same thing it's just jerky chew I can't really see it to make sure it's done got freaking flies all over me not using any veggies to cook it we're gonna sit right here it doesn't look done yet it doesn't look done I still see a little bit of the clear stuff the fire is out and if I try to pick it up probably burn my hand I'm only gonna get a little bit of it I might not even swallow it because that's not a good fish and this fire was started with gasoline Okay, there's a little bit of fire left. So what am I gonna do? Ooh, ee, ooh, ooh, ah, mm, mm, that hurts. <clears throat> what I was gonna do? There is some fish chips on here, which is just the fins. It's not cooked yet. It's close. I'm just gonna take a little bit of it. I'm looking at it and it doesn't look cooked yet. No, it's still got a little ways to go. I'm surprised at the fins. Mmm. That hurt. You don't try this at home. Never play with fire. Never get that close to it. Mm, that hurt. Ooh, I got a bucket of cold water over here. Well, I was using to save my bass in the last video. Ooh, that feels nice. Oh my gosh. Burnt my hand. Now I just gotta wait like 10, 15 minutes. Oh my gosh, that smoke is getting up there. And I got him pretty much at the one of the warmest points. It's got fire all over it. Oh, it looks more done than it was. And that's for sure. Looking for things I can shoot besides that can. Little monster Hydro can. Hate those things. I'm never going to get one of those again. It sucks. The good thing about that jerky is the stuff that they put in the jerky to preserve it might it's got to it's, it's going to preserve all the meat inside of it from the bacteria and it's so hot that the bacteria is probably going to die anyways. So, I shouldn't get sick from eating this. Even though it's possible, I shouldn't. What I should have done is got tin foil. I don't, I trapped a dog with one of my traps. It was funny. Shitty.
doesn't look done yet. Maybe if I put some ashes on top of the um, jerky, it'll be a little bit, bit better. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to eat this. not done yet. I'm just sitting here waiting. Oh yeah, my hand's going to be blistered up tomorrow. That, that right there is what I used to cut up the fish in both my two videos. Smoke. Smoke. That's my fire. Bees are fighting. Smoke is definitely there. Don't know if y'all can see the smoke, but it's coming straight towards me. Oh yeah, already a little bit blistered up. Guarantee by tomorrow it's gonna have blisters. Hurts like a mother trucker. Let her go a little bit longer. That should be good enough, I expect. I'm going to say it's done. Doesn't look completely done. Doesn't look undercooked either. I oh, hope I don't die. Two starlings fighting over there. Hold up. Before anything else happens, I'm going to kill one of them. Give my thing a little bit of extra time to cook. Let's 
So, by the time I got back there, I couldn't see them. They were well hidden. And now, looking around, scared one off. Yeah, just put y'all in smoke. That looks good. Looks good. Smells like fish. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's falling apart for sure. That's some good fish. It's going to be hot. I'd imagine. Yeah, no, it's done for sure. I'm just gonna. Here, it's still got. You know what? Still got some jerky in it. Oh, that smells good. We're just gonna take it first little tiny bite tastes like fish without seasoning Mm -hmm. I wouldn't, I don't recommend it unless you are literally have to eat it. I mean, it's definitely edible. It's not unedible. You can eat it. Yeah, it's just like a little yellow bass. Got him up here. Get him up close for the, cheek, the camera. White meat. Very good. Don't eat it if, like, you literally hate everything. Now I can just pull the spine right out. It's properly cooked. It's got fish chips on it still, which means it's still got a few um, fins. It's got spine. I didn't take the spine out, but I can just rip it, plumb out now. So, yeah. Thank y'all for watching. This has been West Kentucky Outdoors. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you for watching.